MTN Sports Grace Lawrence here outside the brick, which will be absolutely rocking inside of it on Saturday for the Cat Grizz doubleheader. The women tip off at 2 p.m. and the men at 7. It's so physical like than any of the other games. Just like that alone will just catch you off guard and like throw you off your toes. I remember like in a box out, like you're trying to box someone out down in the paint and then they just throw you and nobody calls you like, okay, this is how it's going to go. It's going to be a fist fight. The Montana State men have a new look this season and swept the Grizzlies last year in the Brawl of the Wild series. Uh, it's very feeling uh, knowing that they beat us twice uh, last year and they won it. Um, it's very feeling and I feel like we just want our revenge, at least I do. Although it's Matt Logie's first season as the head coach for Montana State and his first Cat Grizz meeting, he's got three decades of history with Montana coach One Travis DeCure. Logie's grandfather was DeCure's head coach in high school, where Logie was the ball boy. Years later, DeCure came back to coach at his alma mater, while Logie was then a player on the team. Happy to see him at this level. Unfortunately, he's a rival now, so uh, we now have a love-hate relationship instead of a love-love relationship. I've known Travis since I was eight years old. We have a, a, a long um, you know, history together in the game and, and uh, he's somebody I have a great deal of respect for and, and uh, you know, it'll be, it'll, it'll be uh, something I know my grandfather will be, be smiling down. Over on the women's side, they're also prepared for what is normally the loudest and the most emotional environment of the season. Preparing them for just uh the level of energy that it feels different. You know, you, you try to take every game, you're like, it's like any other game. I try to do that early in my career and it didn't work very well. So you just, you kind of own it. I think it's, a, emotions are a little more heightened and it is a big game for us. Um, but I think for us, it's just looking forward to the next game and trying to get the job done on the road. The Montana State women also went 2-0 in this series last season. But both the Cats and the Grizz have a handful of new faces that will add a new chapter in this long fought rivalry on Saturday. We want to win. And there's no question they want to win. They don't want to, they don't want us to win. It's a mental thing for us in our program. We have a lot of new kids that I don't even think really know, to be honest, and so do they. And so it's kind of a different feel now than it was the last two years. But one of the veterans that'll take the court is fifth year guard Madison Paul from MSU. And she had no trouble putting the words, the pride you develop for the school you represent over your time in college. You know, coming in as a freshman, I, you know, I would see her seniors, you know, they'd say, you know, I bleed blue gold. And now I understand really what that means. Like I would do anything for this school. Just having pride and integrity and just really loving your college has become more and more and more over the years for me anyways. Again, the women's game tips off at 2 p.m., the men at 7 p.m. in the brick and on MTN. In Bozeman, Grace Lawrence, MTN Sports.